right. Hey, quick disclaimer before I play the video. There is nothing graphic here. Um, but, yeah, I just want to do a quick disclaimer. I wanted to kind of tell you guys what happened today. Um, I'm going to play the video. We got another park video. What's good, everybody? My name is Devontae Friga. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we came to Ohio today. I um, some people were tweeting at me to come. To, uh, so we're here at Park in Ohio. I told my man Julian Newman to come up here because he's in town. Pretty sure his mom is from here. Uh, he texted me that he might come up here. He might not. Uh, we'll see. I don't really know. We're uh, we're mic'd up today, so it's gonna be good some some good content. My guy Kayvon, how you doing, buddy? Nice you yep. Like that. Huh? You nasty like that? I like to think so, yeah. But we kind of, I just got out of college. Oh, for real? So, yes, yeah, so I just post some stuff on YouTube. They be paying, they be paying y'all? Huh? Play one-on-one -on -one for 100. Play one-on-one -on -one for 100? That's it? That, that ain't enough? Huh? That ain't enough? No, we could do that. We could do it, but we got to do it after. After what? After, we got to run fives first. Man, he's scared out here, man. Y'all got five Y'all got ten people? No, we just, we just kind of rolled to the park. scared, man. I've been trying to get him on five on five for 20 minutes now. We got next over here. Yeah, this is this is my guy right here with the ball. His name is Day Day. D1 Hooper. Solid. I mean, one of the cleanest buckets we're going to be playing against today. See him get a bucket right here. Yeah, good pass. You guys are going to see. Watch this. That's cool. Cash. Hey, 12 straight. One oh. Good shot. Two oh. Three oh. He called a one. All you, Joey. I'll bet. Let me get that. Up top. Five oh. It's 5 0. Ball in. Check up. Y'all know that. That's on my mom. That's 7 0. That's 7 0. I was over there. It's 5 0. We've been counting it out. Five zero, check up. Check up, Kevin. I'm going on the line, cuz I'm over here watching. Niggas don't give a fuck about niggas ain't checking nothing up. Niggas, you not getting that nigga? It's five zero. I don't give a fuck what you saying, nigga. Roll in. You not feeling me or saying? Don't five oh. Five oh. It all right, ain't no check up, I promise you. Are you on the court? I'm not on the court, nigga. I'll just say we got niggas got next. I've been counting points. It's seven zero. We gotta record it, we can count points. You want to count with me though? But you were counting over here. You can count with me. It is 5-0. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> it's it's 12 by two, but it's it's 7-0 blow. Get up, get up, bro. 6-0. D up, bro. Oh my God. Game. Hey, we gotta we gotta make our way back onto the court, baby. That was a bad one for us. Right, we just gotta we just gotta play good next. To, hey, we got run off the court too. Got got run off the court, but we about to be back on next after this. Now we just gotta go crazy. Don't press it too hard, man. What'd you say? Don't press it too hard. I'm not. That's why I was like, nope. <laughs> so this is actually about five minutes after the last clip you guys just saw, and it, typically we don't really record. Um, when I'm off the court, we just kind of wait until I get back on the court, unless I'm having like a conversation with somebody. But Logan actually started recording here because the whole game stopped and everybody just like kind of turned and looked over here. You guys can kind of see like the entire game was stopped and everyone was looking at everybody by the cars. 
because there were a whole bunch of cars parked behind the hoop, and there was a big group that was kind of like going to the back of their cars and the front of their cars and everyone was just sitting on the hood. And this is actually when Hunter, and I'll show you guys kind of the clip here, but this is actually when Hunter came up to me and he was just telling me that they had guns out and stuff. And I was kind of just like looking around, as you guys can see on the screen. And you guys are about to see it here in a second, but like my natural instinct was to kind of figure out how I can get me and my team out of the situation, just kind of like leave the park. And then I also knew there were some fans there too. And it was more like a safety thing for real. But the main part that it was that was a little sketchy is like, whether it was about me or not, you know, like, because they were arguing already over there and they had their guns out and stuff. Like, one, I didn't want to be around that situation. And two, they were yelling, like, hey, you, YouTube boy, we got the cameras out. Like, record this, record this, you know. And, like, then that just puts me on the spot. Then all eyes are on me and stuff. Um, and then I also got a clip here. Uh, you guys are about to see it in a second. This is actually, uh, before I play the clip, this is actually when Joey came up to me and he was like, um somebody's talking about hey they got a shot ready or something and then we're just like yeah we got to get out of this situation for real but uh you guys are about to hear it i'll follow you there yeah i'm gonna get the other camera what up you gonna get my number Hey, will you hurry up and get my number or come to my car? All right. Well, today we learned you can't just go up into any. Apparently, they were like, they started to sit on the cars and they had guns and stuff. Hunter came up to me and he was like, hey, bro, he just put a gun out over there. And I was like, nope. Call nope. I, that's the reason I kind of bleeped out the park and everything at the beginning. Because I already know I got to do all that because I'm not, I'm not going to put anybody on blast. Hey, uh, we got Kayvon's uh, phone. Yeah, I mean, if you, uh, there's a gas station called. All right, and then after I got off the phone with Malik here, um, I actually tried to vlog again and tell you guys what was going on and like kind of explain how I wasn't going to dox the park and tell you guys where I was at exactly. But the car that everybody was sitting on had left the same time we did and they were coming around the corner and you guys are about to see it here in a second. I just like stopped vlogging because I, I saw it out the window. I was like, oh shit, because they were coming around this way. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was. we were up here. I had obviously bleeping out everything that doesn't show exactly where we're at, but nope. I wasn't like legit. I wasn't even trying to come up to. Hey, wait, hold on. We obviously met up at the gas station with Kayvon to get his phone back because we still had his phone because um, we all tried to leave or, like real quick. And then uh, this is what Kayvon had to say. Hot bro. Don't you know how I said my car was right there? Don't you know how I said my car was right there? So like, I'm walking up to the car, right? I'm walking up to the car and I'm just looking over. I get in my car, all I hear. Is Dude, clutch on his gun. Pull it out, clutch on it. Bruh, don't, don't you know the other way over there? Bro, I just went through the grass. Bruh. Uh, man. Alright. I tried to, I've tried to film this like three or four times already. I just feel like I'm not saying what I want to say to kind of like I guess express what this was like kind of trying to turn this negative into a positive thing for you guys since it was recorded. Um, we we record our videos right at the park and playing five on five and stuff. One, because we are blessed with the ability and I'm super grateful the fact that we get to record basketball and that be my job. Like my job is to literally record myself or, ha or my job is to literally play basketball. I don't even do the recording. I just edit it. My job is play basketball, edit the videos and put them on YouTube online and just try and inspire you guys to start your own thing too. And um, there's a risk that comes with what we do. And, and I knew this already. I knew, you know, I've been talking to my mom and my brothers and my family and everything for a long time. Just like, you're gonna go to the wrong place one day, right? Um, and it's not, I'm not trying to make it too serious because it's not like anything happened. And I talked to Malik uh, one of my boys that was up there, and he's like, "Yeah, man, they always got they always got guns up here and stuff." Um, but basically, I don't know what was recorded, um, so I'm kind of gonna explain it here. It was 5-0, score was 5-0. They thought it was 7-0. Once it's a 7-0 blow, you get off the court. That's just the rules, whatever. I get it. Um, but we were arguing and stuff. The dude was mad for a minute, and then we ended up playing the rest of the game. And then like 10-15 minutes later, the big group of guys went to this one car to the front and the back, and then the team that was playing, everybody stopped and they were watching what they were doing. 
and then they started playing again and everybody went to the front of the car and they were all sitting on the hood and stuff and they and hunter came up to me and he's like hey bro like they got guns over there they got guns out they had like extended clips like there were two or three guns out and, shit. Um, and they were like yelling some like record this record that in those moments like things kind of you just kind of like black out a little bit and you want to get out there and be safe and stuff i talked to my mom and stuff and i called her and i just told her everything that happened and uh she was like you all you always talk about how basketball is your therapy it's not a death sentence or anything like that for me like this just, like i said i'm so grateful that i like this is what we do you know like yeah we go to the parks we get reactions and stuff but it's never you know a reaction so far to where somebody could like seriously get hurt um it's more just go to the park enjoy time inspire people to create because a lot of the people that watch my videos are creators as well you know like you guys all create or you just like watching basketball videos or you just enjoy watching youtube and you enjoy the videos we put out um but yeah i mean i don't know just a tough situation i wanted to just make sure everybody was safe and just kind of tell you guys everything that happened because i know i put it out on socials and stuff um this weird situation uh and then uh, you guys are going to see here in a minute we did go to another park because there were some people that uh, wanted to meet me and came to that park to meet me as creators like it's fun to create this stuff and, and and do all this extra stuff but hey man this stuff this stuff can get serious too because some people don't value certain things but we went to a different park so i'm gonna play that clip and then i'm gonna outro over there but yeah <laughs> um but yeah man see like this is just good vibes you know we're just we're just playing basketball recording the life and I'm never recording. I'm never recording this stuff for that far of a reaction. Like, I don't know. Stay safe, I guess. We're about to play in the men's league, so stay tuned for that. But we're gonna go. I'm gonna flash back to the video uh, earlier today. I wanted to come up here because I know Rylan. He drove two hours uh, to go to that park to to talk to me, really. Um, so I wanted to like meet him over here and uh and talk to him for real because because that that's worth it to me so we're gonna hop on real quick maybe we'll talk to rylan a little bit but yeah we what drove, we drove two hours and that's scary So we're about to, we're about to play one. We get something to eat before this. Uh, yeah. Hey! I thought you you were supposed to win that. Uh, game. Yep. All right, I got you. Hey, it's game. I'm about to play my man Riley. You guys can go check it out on his channel. Um, you better post this tomorrow. I'm telling them to check it out on your channel. Hey, so what you do? You turn something negative into a positive. Right? Basketball is like. Basketball is important to me, you know what I mean? Basketball is not, my mom, I called my mom and told her, she's like, it's not a death sentence, man. You're just trying to inspire people and, and motivate people to, to do their own thing, you know what I mean? We get to create, we get to, uh, we get to create videos and do what we want and stuff and, and travel and inspire people and that stuff's important to me. It's not worth anything else, not worth the safety. Uh, so I feel like it wouldn't be right if I didn't come back here and, and just like thank you guys for watching or whatever. I don't even know at this point. I'm um, just kind of, I, I definitely wanted to explain it on top of showing you guys the footage because like I said, we didn't record anything. We didn't record the whole interaction just because we don't record when I'm off the court. Um, but we got a couple things to show you guys really. And it was it's this is so much bigger than just like, no, I know people are gonna watch us. This is like a, a like for sure safety thing, and I'd I'd put it out on Snapchat and Instagram. So now I just feel like you guys deserve to hear the story and kind of see what else went on. But the main thing here is being able to turn the negative situation into a positive situation and just still interact with the people that came out there. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Be safe, stay motivated, stay positive, take it easy.